Whenever I set up to film, my dog gets like crazy, like clingy, I guess. So I don't know. I think he thinks the light is like a demon or something. I don't know. What do you think? Hi 20-somethings, my name is Aubrey and welcome to the channel. This channel is all about making the financial most out of your 20s. Last year, I traveled a lot and it wasn't even like chill solo trips, it was like trips with my boyfriends on the weekends because we both have full-time jobs. These weren't like crazy cheap flights that we found this unreal deal or something like that. We were flying flights that were about $150 per flight. It's one thing to say a lot of flights and another to say that we flew 70 flights in 2019 on Southwest. So, what do you think we paid for 70 flights on Southwest? We paid $1,800 for 70 flights. That works out to be $25.71 per flight. So, how did we do this? We did this with the Southwest credit card. I already have a video out about the five best credit cards I would recommend for beginners and all things about money management as far as credit cards go. So if you've never had a credit card, then maybe the Southwest credit card isn't for you right this moment, but go check out that other video and see if this might be something you wanna do in the future so that you can fly 70 flights in a year for only $25 per flight. So last spring, Southwest actually ran a deal that was if you spent $4,000 within the first three months, you received 40,000 points and a companion pass. That's right, the beloved companion pass. So when we saw that deal, my boyfriend hopped on and got that card. Like I say in that other video, $4,000 was something that was realistic for us to spend within the first three months. We were actually going to Europe shortly after getting the card, and this card has a $0 foreign transaction fee, so it was perfect. As far as the 70 flights goes, what happened was we ended up taking 70 flights total together, but we only paid for 12 of those flights. Do the math of 12 flights times 150 per flight, that comes out to be $1,800. That means we flew on 58 flights for free. That saves us $8,700. Now let's be realistic. If we didn't have the companion pass and we didn't have these bonus points to use, would we have gone on 70 flights? No. I'm all about living within my means and it just so happened that last year only spending $1,800 on Southwest flights was totally doable for us. This made our life pretty awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. We'd be hanging out at home and my boyfriend would say, hey, do you want to go to the UFC fight in Vegas this weekend? And because of the companion pass, it was like, sure, flights are only 100 bucks for two people. This made going home to my family super easy as well. I went home for my mom's birthday, for Thanksgiving, and for Christmas. Again, all because we had the companion pass. If we would have paid for all 70 of those flights, it would have cost us $10,500. Does that even make sense? Yeah, I just did it again. That's crazy. So you're probably thinking, cool, good for you, that's awesome, but what about me? For 2020, to get the companion path, you had to have around 110,000 Southwest points. Mike and I landed at about 90,000 points this year. But this was because we used a lot of those points to fly instead of paying for the flight itself and earning more points. There's definitely different strategic ways to go about it, but we ended up just flying as much as possible for as little as possible. We could have flown as much as possible and paid for it as much as possible so that we probably could have earned it this year. But there's not hope lost for all of us. It's January 2020 and Southwest just released that they're going to run a deal where you can earn 75,000 bonus points. That's a lot of bonus points for Southwest. But for 2021 Companion Pass, you will need to have 125,000 Southwest points to earn the companion pass. That means that we would need to earn 50,000 points on our own. This is actually a better chance than we had this last year because it took 110,000 and we were only given 40. So we were 70,000 out of reach and we ended up only earning that 50,000. So right now we are talking about and thinking about me getting the Southwest card from there, we would spend the rest of the year trying to acquire 50,000 Southwest points on our Southwest card so that we could then next year have the companion pass again and save another $8,700 or more. <laughs> 
there are ways to get points pretty easily. Like you can rent a car and get 10,000 points or stay in a very specific expensive hotel for 10,000 points. Say that hotel costs you like 300 a night, which don't get me wrong, is a lot. But if that equals 10,000 points, it's actually a really good deal on the other side of things. So since it's January right now and I have an entire year to strategize how I'm going to earn these points, I definitely think it's possible. I don't even really think that it's just possible, but I think it will happen. Honestly, the biggest question I get before I even started this channel was, Aubrey, how do you travel so much? And I always tell people, budget and find a good credit card. For us, in 2019, the Southwest credit card saved us $8,700. There are always offers out there like this, and if you want me to, let me know in the comments below, and I will try to track these as close as possible to see what is the absolute best deal for you to fly for free as well. For now, I do think we are going to do the Southwest credit card and get those 75,000 bonus points and then earn those 50,000 for next year. If I do end up doing it, I will definitely keep you posted in another video as I do post on this channel every Monday and Wednesday. So invest in yourself 20-somethings and watch all the videos I post on this channel and learn as much as you can. The cool thing about personal finance is that you are literally 100% in control. It doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter who you know. If you can manage your personal finances, you will do amazing. Let me know if you found this video interesting, or if you liked it, or I don't know. Let me know if you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, for everyone asking, I will 100% be doing investing videos as soon as possible. I will have a video coming soon talking about Acorns and my review after using it for 90 days. I'm also going to be talking about the app Robinhood, um, where you can buy stocks individually on your own for no fee at all. I'm going to be talking about all of those shortly. I'll be talking about different kinds of funds you can invest in. Yeah, so definitely keep posted, watch these videos, make sure that you have your savings ready, that you have your budget ready so that you can now invest. Thank you guys for watching.